basically take them to be um, on black or ceramic, and then bake it in the oven for like half an hour, and then freeze it actually, I think. Um, I decided to do this because um, in this series kind of introduces the project she talked about, like the basic cabinet batches. And this is one of them, and I've never heard of it before, so I, uh, I thought it was cool to showcase kind of like the first uh, attempt at that I had ever seen with this, so I thought I'd show it. Here's some inspiration. I wanted to go for like this older style pattern. Um, I just like going old school. Um, I think that they wanted a photo, like the pattern kind of has like a pattern that she's using in it. Um, for my project goals, I really felt the rest of um, specifically, like, making red lines look sketchy for them because I had some days making them and then completely drawing them. But I feel like for this project, I wanted to see a photo of what they look like. Um, then I'm taking off my two pieces. They need to stay set into bake it freeze after and just wash it. So I thought that was, like, that was just fun for us. Um, and then taking out my medium project that I've never heard of before, she came out. Um, well, I mean, did not have time to use it at all, so I felt that was my color is probably like going to go dark right now because it's red. Um, the colors for mine are like very kind of like on the bottom left and then they're like kind of like close to a design with the liners and then they almost finish and then that is the print afterwards. Um, so that's like the palette and the palette paper is right here which basically you have like your surface you put the brush paper on top then you design on top of that and you like tape it down and then you print over your design so it like stands like to the print. Um, and then like after that you go in the whole thing and you print your design and then print so that is kind of cool too. Here's the production. Uh, on the left that's my color texture sketch. I didn't want to do a circle print but then I decided like the palette could be cut off and I just kept the sketch right there. Um, so yeah, I really like that. It's pretty much empty the back of the palette. Um, the second one is my um, that I came up with, and this is the inspiration. I want to do this with my color texture brush. This one seems like a lot harder to walk in the corners. Um, I didn't realize that was because I was making the legs too thick, and I don't think I was striking balance like hard, hard enough like I should have. Um, and then I didn't let it go because I took so long to do it, and then I lifted it up, and it was stuck there. Um, <laughs> and I came up with a brush, and it worked. I ended up um, copying the design like on paper paper. Um, but it, when I copied it, like, I think it got cut off somehow, um, and it wasn't, like, quite lined up, and so I stayed down, and I think it just wasn't as formal, so it's not really lined up with the print, but I didn't want to redo it, so it's just fine. It's just print for now. Um, so I just decided to cut off the whole of it, and yeah. Here's my progress with the lining. Um, the lining was actually really hard for me, because my print was, like, really shaky, um, it was really, it wasn't hard to print, and then I had to, like, deviate from, like, um, the spacing, so that was kind of, like, hard because it was so messy, because I was doing, like, a print and nothing else, so it was kind of weird, but, yeah, so the design complete, um, so I'm kind of just taking some time to finish the top one, um, and then my finishes, um, to, like, cut them too thick and then bake it and stay in the product, I like to add, like, a few pieces of paper, and so I just kind of just put it in. It was really cool to see the house, like, just the beginning, like, outside for the project. Um, I typically work with vacant art, like, by my, like, in my personal time, and then also this year I had to do a lot of vacant stuff. So it was really cool for me to have, like, this big product. Um, and something that I can use for future events because I really want this print in this series. Um, here's, here's me printing in the front, <coughs> and I never really understood it, and I kind of, like, hated it, and, like, I, I was very, I was, like, kind of, like, I hated just a light blue and it just made it a little bit too messy so I just for the future I would figure out uh, how to learn to use it next time um, and yeah the lining is stuck to it it doesn't really show through um, but yeah and the printing is fine it just took a little bit too long so I guess that's okay so I'll stop now Um, with the lining, you can kind of, I 
curious like why this one's called Doc. Um, this one I get the hint of, but I still think that the two points that kind of like take the top off of the plate that I didn't have that. Um, and the same thing like kind of just like I don't know, it seems more connected to other things I've read. Yeah. Does the lime part like does that have like a texture to it or is it like flat? It's just a, yeah, it's just a little thicker than the rest. Is the lining only done in black? No, it's not. There's like many colors, but I just decided to go with the black. And, and do you need to do it directly from your little tube of thing? Yeah, it's like, it's just like a piece of like thin, so if you get like some like that slime, you just kind of squeeze it out. I don't know if it's henna, it's like in a book of that, it's kind of like a flat kind of thing. And sorry, and then the rest is just paint on with the paper? Yeah, you just paint the rest on. So, I went to, uh, on my birthday last Saturday, I went to this San Jose Maker Faire, and I saw this stuff. It's, it's kind of a new thing. It's called UV de de Design to Film. What it is, is you design things in Illustrator, you print it out with this ink on the special film, and it's UV printed um, using ultraviolet light. And then it's basically like a, a, like a very thick sticker that you put on your thing, and it's you can wash it, you, it's non-scratchable, you can't, it's it's really cool, and it's like, basically what you're doing is like a, a one-off personal art, but if you had to mass produce that, there's no way you would do it hand yeah. by hand, so you, you could do this kind of digital version of what you're doing, and I think it's, it's kind of new, and I, I, I want to maybe try it with you guys next year, so it'll be cool, so. I'm not sure I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much.